I use Apple Photos extensively, and I've got it synced with iCloud on a big data plan, and it works great for me most of the time. Nonetheless, I also wanted to save a snapshot of the library to an external disk as an offline backup just in case something goes really wrong. To do this, I needed to use the option within Apple Photos to download originals to this Mac. But I found that the Photos app takes a sweet time syncing those photos down from iCloud. Even when it said it was syncing, I could look at the activity monitor and sometimes see that there was very little network activity. So here's how I figured out how to force the sync of full resolution media to a Photos library on an external volume. Obviously, the first step is I need to plug in my external drive. This is a Samsung SSD. Uh, SATA connection to a uh, USB 3 adapter. And once the drive comes up, I need to load photos while holding down the option key. And that will bring up this menu, which lets me create a new library. So I'll click on create new and select the drive I just inserted. We'll still call it photos library. That will create a new empty library. Now, if I had a library that had the optimized low resolution images, I could have brought that over and launched photos using that library, but this is just from the very beginning how you would do things if you didn't already have some photos downloaded. Next, I'll go to photos and then settings. And I need to click on this use as system photo library. Using as a system photos library enables this tab iCloud to, uh, to be able to sync down photos from iCloud. So I'm going to click on iCloud photos and I'm going to leave optimize Mac storage selected. Eventually, I want to download originals to this Mac, but the first step is just to leave optimized Mac storage selected so that I get enough image previews that then I can go and select them in another app, which will come next. So we'll let this sync for a little while. Okay, this library has had some time to sync down from iCloud. I actually got distracted, so it's been a little over an hour, but you can see that it's completed with its sync. And even though I know this library is close to a terabyte, it actually only shows up as a little over 16 gigabytes in the finder. So this is the effect of having that optimized storage turned on. So now that the library is synced in optimized storage mode, we're going to go back to photos, settings, go to the iCloud tab, and we're going to click on download originals to this Mac now. The reason you want optimized Mac storage initially is just so you can get those image previews, and I'll show you what I do with those next. Once you have those optimized lower resolution images there, you can go over and open iMovie, now we're going to create a new movie. And in the new movie, we're going to select in the libraries here, select our photos. So in this case, iMovie knows how to find your photos because it just uses the system library. And it's going to start showing you previews here. Now everything's going to start getting really slow, but that's okay. We're going to use iMovie to force the Photos app to do what we want. So I'm already on the all photos selection here, but if you're on my albums or something, you need to select all photos. And now when you click on a piece of media, you see that little icon that shows up, like a clock that shows that it's uh, doing something. Well, that's actually iMovie asking photos to go get the full resolution of a photo or a video so that it can use it for a project. So that's what we're going to use to make all of these photos get synced down. So just click on something like the top left image here, hit command and A and step away. There's the spinning wheel normally of death. You should expect it in this case. What I've just done is selected all, in my case, 20 some 23,000 pieces of media. Now iMovie thinks that we want to use this media in a new project, and it's basically requesting that that full media be downloaded. And Photos is going to dutifully go up to iCloud and pull that media down. But it is going to take a lot of time, and your computer may be somewhat unresponsive during this time, so be forewarned. Certainly, iMovie will be unresponsive, and I wouldn't try to do anything in iMovie. Just let it do its thing. But you can watch the size of your photo library in the Finder. It's going to slowly tick up in size, and that's your indication that things are working in the background. Well, it's been over an hour and a half since I initially hit select all on my media from the iMovie pane. And though iMovie remains pretty sluggish and unresponsive, I wouldn't mess with it much. Watching the finder is a better way to track progress. I can see that over 172 gigabytes has already been transferred. Earlier I did the calculation, it looks like I'm getting about 100 gigabytes per hour from uh, that sync down from iCloud. So that's not bad. Certainly much better than waiting around for Apple Photos to sync everything over hours, days, weeks. I don't know when it would have finished. Now I know for sure that it'll get all of my media onto a drive. Once it's finished, I can eject that drive, 
put it away in a drawer and I know I at least have a snapshot that day of all the media that I had in my library. Then I can do the same thing I did earlier where I press option and click on photos to launch it with that special window that lets you select or create a new library. And at that point, you can reestablish a local library on your machine that you probably would run with the optimized photos turned on. But in any case, that's the one you use day to day and your full library is tucked away just in case the unexpected should happen. So it looks like I'll be as snoozy as my dog by the time this is finished. But if this was helpful to you, please hit that like button. If you've got questions, throw them in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching.